caveman, the man took care of the survival process, woman took care of cooking, nurturing, creating a, an ambience, a better ambience for life. So man fuels the survival process, the woman fuels that it makes it worthwhile to live. So these are two aspects fulfilled by masculine and feminine. So from here on when I say masculine and feminine, I want you to disengage that from being male and female. Now we are shifting this thing to a different level in the society. I'm not uh, saying it's right or wrong, we need to understand it's shifting in the sense. It's not just about women seeking a career. What is happening is, the masculine ideals are becoming the most important ideals. So, a systematic obliteration of the feminine has happened today because the world is driven by the economic engine. When you say economy is the only important thing on the planet, that means survival process is being put into a divine position. Once economic engine is what is driving the world, then masculine is bound to be dominant and uh, in this system women will suffer. I think lot of women are going through this and some of them are trying to find a balance between the two. It is not because they're pursuing a career this is happening, it is because survival process has become the highest ideal, which is a wrong way to structure a society. Masculine is power, is a wrong perception. Masculine is the right thing, is a wrong perception. That wrong perception has seeped into the society. Today, there is very little role for the feminine, even if a woman comes out, she has to act like a man, then only she is successful. If she acts like a woman, it's considered weak. Feminine is not weak, it's just fulfilling a different aspect of life. Without the ambience of the feminine, masculine will feel meaningless. We say, Shiva is a Shava without Shakti. That means Shiva, the highest lord, will become a corpse if Shakti doesn't dance around him. So that's a beautiful way of saying it. So unless our values change, that our minds grow beyond survival process, if spirituality became the most significant part of a society, you would say feminine would be more dominant than the masculine. Unless the masculine and feminine play equal proportions on the planet, you will not see a beautiful life happening.